of course, we're, we're excited after uh, two years of absence because of the pandemic. Now we're back and uh, we're, we're thankful of uh, the opportunity to be partnered with the 138 Signal 138. And we're excited to, you know, to really show the, the fans that uh, MPBL is back. Now, the format is still the same. We, 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 see, we will still do the uh, single round drop and, and uh, the home in a way. But uh, the situation right now is different compared to the original home in a way before. Mainly because we have limited venues. Okay. Now, because the venues natin is being used pa ng mga LGUs for their vaccination mm-hmm. facilities and also some of uh, the political rallies. So, may mga challenges tayo ng inaharap ngayon. But uh, definitely, the, the the show must go on and uh, we're ready. We're ready. Alright, so Commissioner Kenneth, this time around, I'd like to ask in terms of the number of teams that will be joining this fourth season. The last time that we had a meeting with uh, our uh, founder, CEO, Senator Mani, uh, two days ago in uh, Conrad, mm-hmm. I think we have 21 teams committed, 21, to, to join our uh, fourth season. And hopefully, we uh, na, kasi yung iba doon, parang uh, may mga suggestions that they want to start the season by June. The, uh, traditionally, kasi we, we we open our season June, okay. June 12. It's uh, around ng Independence Day, around ng kalayaan. Yeah. Yan ang usually natin no open. But uh, na feel namin na after two years kasi na wala tayong action sa NPBL, walang tournament, we feel that um, we can... St- it's it's uh, it's time to start early for for the benefit of our fans. So, kaya na bago yung schedule natin. Now, I'm sure you know a lot of fans are really itching uh, to watch the MPBL once again, and madaming mga big names and big icons na kailang kilala na talaga sa MPBL at kabilang na din doon sina Marky, sina John Wilson. Will we still be expecting these big names to be playing again this coming fourth season of the MPBL? Um, right now, um, wala pa kasi yung submission ng mga lineup ng mga teams, no? But of course, we're happy to see them again uh, uh, sa tournament and sa MPBL. Uh, with the additional of uh, new young stars na wala pang name mm-hmm. and matidevelop natin, uh, magbigyan natin sa exposure dito sa MPBL. Uh, the same way before na yung mga wala masyadong pangalan ng mga players ay nabigyan ng chance to perform and to show their talent and yun, yung iba sa PBA na, sa big leagues na. That's true. And hopefully this time makadiscover ulit, na, makadiscover ulit tayo ng mga ganong talent which is yan ang primary talaga na, na uh, ano ng tournament, ng liga, no? Purpose. Primary purpose is again, uh, uh, ang hanap ng mga good talents uh, all over the country. But of course, yung may mga names na added impact yun sa liga. We'd like to see them back again. Alright, Commissioner Kenneth Deremdes, last December, uh, big news happened for MPBL because you are now accredited to become a professional league. Now, aside from that, what other big changes can we expect in the upcoming Season 4 of the MPBL? Um, yeah. Um, meron tayo mga major changes noong December. Yung may reignite natin yung league for short tournament. Para naman na yung mga teams na nabakante na matagal eh, ma-warm up sila. Mm-hmm. And manumbalik yung excitement again ng mga fans natin. And uh, yung major changes nga doon is naging pro league ang MPBL. Uh, which uh, I think we believe that it's beneficial also to us. Dahil... Uh, considering yung pandemic na it's unpredictable. So anytime kasi magkakaroon na magsasurge na naman and then we cannot help any games kung wala tayong supervision ng GAB and IATF. So the upcoming season, the fourth season, uh, expect pa rin natin na yung mga, mga excite, exciting games na nagagawa natin before. Mainly because alam natin not only the fans are excited, but also the players are eager to play back and show their skills once again. 
So, alam natin, excited yun sila. And I know they're ready and prepared for uh, the long season again. Alam natin, mabibigyan natin ng mga gandang laro itong mga fans natin na matagal na nag-antay. Alright, Commissioner Kenneth, I'm sure talaga yung mga fans natin hindi na talaga makapaghintay at gustong-gusto na talaga nilang makapanood ulit ng MPBL. So this is your chance to uh, invite all the fans out there of their favorite MPBL teams and players uh, to watch the MPBL season for this coming April 25. Yes, uh, uh, I mean soon. I'm inviting everyone especially our MPBL diehard fans that were back on April 25 after two years of absence. Uh, we have our opening night in Batanga City Coliseum. We're live uh, in Signal 1PH. And uh, we're excited, no? Uh, lalo na kasi yung mga fans natin sa Batangas. I can say that they're one of the most... Uh, uh, exciting fans uh, na dyan, no? they're, they're really passionate about basketball and they, they, they really support the team which is the Batangas City uh, the Batangas City uh, the Batangas Tandway Athletics so mm-hmm. hope to see you there uh, hindi naman makapunta uh, live po tayo sa 1PH and uh, I just keep on praying and and support uh, supporting the team no? the, your, 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 your favorite team especially kailangan na uh, hindi na ulit manumbalik yung pandemic kasi ito na yun eh meron na tayong momentum to get back and meron tayong uh, venues and entertainment for you guys sana tulungan nyo na kayo magdasal na para uh, hindi na to matigil ulit or maputol para tuloy-tuloy na yung excitement na bibigay ng MPBL sa inyong mga basketball fans hope to see you there mga, mga kaligang 